Hey everybody, welcome to Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We're in the middle of the desert, but uh, last couple of days, we've been riding this brand new bad boy. This is the brand new Kawasaki ZX6. It's the ZX6 636, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's, it's been revised for this year. So let's dive into tech stuff and see what they've done. The answer is not a lot. Well, that's not entirely true. The 2019 Kawasaki ZX-6R does indeed look different compared to the last ZX-6, but underneath is still very similar to what was being sold in 2018. That's not entirely a bad thing because the 636cc ZX-6R is still one of the best all-round street sports bikes money can buy. And that money now goes a lot further with the non-ABS ZX-6R selling for a stunning $9,999. with the full ABS version in Kawasaki Racing Colors costing $11,299. And that means both bikes have come in for a severe price cut as Kawasaki attempts to breathe new life back into the Supersport segment. Starting with the most obvious change in the bodywork, Kawasaki has taken a few design cues from their Junior Cup weapon in the Ninja 400, with the now twin LED headlight equipped front fairing looking suspiciously like the 400 that debuted earlier this year. The seat unit, also featuring LED lighting, is slightly sharper and shorter front to back than the 2018 piece, although the gas tank shape is the same as before. Under the new fairing and bodywork sits the same long stroke 636cc motor that's now Euro 4 compliant, with the final drive ratio shortened to give a bit more bottom end performance. As for the chassis, it's the same twin spar aluminum design as always, with Shell providing the suspension front and rear, both fully adjustable, and the braking taken care of by Nissan four piston calipers up front and a single piston caliper at the rear. As for the electronics, you get ABS on the top line model, Kawasaki traction control, you get two power modes in full and low, and Kawasaki has fitted their quick shift system as standard on both the non-ABS and ABS models. It's not a full makeover, but the fact Kawasaki is even doing anything with their aging super sport machine shows they haven't given up on the segment just yet. Uh, yesterday we had the road ride and we we're riding this bad boy. Now this is 11,299 bucks. This is the KRT edition with ABS. Now cast your mind to this one. This is the non-ABS version, 9,999 bucks. Like let, let, let that sink in, Nine, that's under 10 grand. That's probably the fastest transportation machine you'll probably ever buy for under 10 grand brand new. Like, Pretty amazing stuff. But yeah, anyway, so yesterday, up in the mountains on this thing, um, a lovely, lovely bike. It's been a long time since I've ridden a, a ZX6. I've ridden a lot of uh, super sport bikes and plenty of super bikes, but long time since I've ridden this particular one. I forgot how good that, that engine is, that 636 motor. It's got plenty of low down torque, and one of the big things that they've changed for this year is they've shortened the gear ratio a little bit just to give you a little bit more punch, just so it drives off the corner a little bit nicer. Makes for a an easier street bike to ride because you know the common conception is with super sport bikes is that you have to have the things revved to the moon and while that is true to a large extent this thing proves that you don't quite need that like you you get you know good drivability a good engine good performance and the thing still screams up top like it's still a super sport bike but that extra 36 cc plus the uh, the shortened gearing does make a, does make a big difference Comfort wise, you know, the bike is as it pretty much always was. Um, one of the big changes significantly is the new bodywork. Um, personally, for the street and for the track actually too, I want a taller screen, I find that screen a little bit, a little bit low. Now this thing also comes standard with a quick shifter as well, which makes cruising through traffic, I mean, let alone obviously the, the major things that you do on a track with a quick shifter, but having an upshift uh, quick shifter really lovely really great for just cruising through nice big canyon roads and that kind of stuff and you know keeps the bike nice and settled the basic engine and chassis is the same uh, as it was you know it's got the same brakes same uh show a big piston uh well separate separate function big piston fork um and you also got show a show a shock as well um Big difference in being the bodywork, the seat's a little bit shorter and a little bit narrower as well, it's narrow at the tank. But look, in, a, in, in fairness, it feels pretty much like the old bike in that regard, which is, which is a good thing. I mean, like as soon as I jumped on that thing, I'm like, oh yeah, it's, even though it's been a number of years, I, I remember what it's like. But thing turns on a dime too, like it's so well planted, brakes really well, and like the ABS system is seriously unobtrusive. You know, the Kawasaki Intelligent Braking System, 
uh, on this thing, like you, you got to screw up really bad for it to even begin to, to pulse. So today, you know, we we're on this one on the on the under 10 grand bike. This is the one, no ABS, um, doesn't come in that color as well. So it comes in the gray color for this one, but. It's staggering value, man. The 636 engine has been around now for quite a long time. Like Kawasaki bought this out a number of years ago. So it's like, that's their, that's their, their deal. You know, when they first bought it out, people were a bit like, why are you doing that? And it's pretty obvious it makes for a better street bike. And that's when the majority of these things get ridden. But on the track, um, yeah, on the track, the performance is brilliant. You know, it has really, really good braking stability. That's one thing I love about this bike. Like you can plow the front end in, especially today we were running, yesterday we were running the brand new Bridgestone S22s. We're gonna have a test on those things uh, a little bit later for you guys in, in the coming months. And today we were running the Bridgestone R11 track tires, which is just, I love that tire. It's awesome. So you can really get, a, we combine the, the stability of the front end with really, really good tires, yeah, you can just chuck the thing into corners. It's, it's awesome fun. Um, acceleration wise is really good as well. Also comes with traction control, two stage, well, three stage traction control, two different modes as well, throttle modes. So that gives you plenty of options to be able to you know, tailor the ride to how you like. It's, it's not an all new bike for this year, but it's a fairly heavily revised bike, especially when you consider they haven't touched this thing for years. So it's really cool that Kawasaki have actually done this. And the best thing is that price, man, like under 10 G's for that thing. It's going to be pretty hard to beat that thing. 